Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Ninja Pods and Grounds Specialty Coffee Maker. Now this is the stone color. It retails for $99 off of Amazon. Now they also sell two other versions of this. They come in black. This, is, this one is without the milk frother, usually at Walmart for $99. This one's with the milk frother. You can find that on Amazon and the Ninja website. It's usually about $130, but it is on sale sometimes under $100. So this is a really pretty coffee maker. It's the color is stone color. So we have lots of options with this coffee maker. We can brew a coffee and an iced coffee with a with a K cup, or we can use our own ground coffee. We can brew into a travel mug. We can brew into an iced coffee for our own coffee. I'm going to show you how to do all of this. Okay, so the coffee maker has a water reservoir that is removable on the back. Very nice. Up top here, this is where you're going to put the coffee K cup. So there's the, the K-cup adapter, and we got this brew basket. This always has to be installed, but we have this hidden compartment right here. We'll open it up. This is a reusable filter. We can put our own coffee grounds in here, and this will hold a whole bunch. We can brew up to 24 ounces through here, and we can put up to seven tablespoons of coffee in here. So we can really fill up a travel mug with some nice, strong coffee. And there's where our K-cup adapter goes. And I like that both of these store. So whichever one you're not using, you store it in this little compartment, and that way you're ready to go. Now the screen will change accordingly. See how that's a coffee bean? That's because I have the coffee bean installed, which is ground coffee. Now the display has a power button, and I can do a classic brew, a rich brew, or an over ice. I can do a 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 18, or 24. And then when I'm ready, I just hit the brew button. When I put the K-cup adapter in, that's going to change. And now I can still brew classic rich over ice. I can do six, eight, 10, or 12. I can't go any higher than 12. And when I'm ready, I just hit the brew button. So let me explain. When we do an over ice, we're gonna do an over ice first. When I do an over ice and I've got six ounces selected, it's only gonna brew three ounces through that coffee cake up or if I'm using my own coffee grounds. It only brews half of what it says. That's because you're gonna fill your tumbler full of ice. The ice is gonna melt. That will get it to the proper dilution that it needs. Same with eight. It'll just brew four ounces of coffee. That's a really concentrated coffee, but it's gonna be hot and it'll melt your ice. Same with 10 and 12. Now you can brew an over ice with any standard coffee cake up. Again, a single needle on the top, single needle on the bottom. Just put the cake up in, close the lid. We've got over ice, six ounces. So I'm gonna brew my over ice with eight ounces. I'm gonna hit the brew button. I've got my tumbler full of ice. And I can brew my over ice with my, if I got my own coffee grounds, I just use the coffee grounds adapter, put how much, there's a scoop on the side here that's gonna tell you how much to add. And then you can select those different sizes for an over ice with your own coffee grounds also. It's a really quiet coffee maker, so it's gonna brew a little bit and then it pauses for about 10 to 15 seconds. It may think it's done, but then it's gonna continue the brew. Now again, that's coming out really hot. It's gonna melt the ice, but then you'll end up with the proper dilution. I've got some milk, I got some syrup. You can drink it like that. It's still really bitter to me. I have to add some milk and syrup. Okay, it's gonna beep at us to let us know it's done. Again, that's a really concentrated coffee, but it's gonna melt the ice. It's already cold, I can tell. I like to add about two tablespoons of syrup, maybe about a tablespoon and a half. Then you can add whatever type of milk you'd like. I'm adding some oat milk. Now again, I could have made a bigger size, but this is just the right size for me. This absolutely tastes delicious in this coffee maker. Up top here, be careful, this K-cup will be hot. You can use the adapter to take it out and empty it out. Now I can brew a hot cup of coffee also with a K-cup. And when I brew it on a classic brew or a rich brew, it's gonna brew whatever ounces I select. So you can put a coffee cake up in here, select eight ounces, and it'll brew an eight ounce hot coffee. Okay, another really nice feature is let's brew into a travel mug. Let's use our own coffee grounds. I'm gonna store the cake up adapter and use the own coffee grounds. Again, this has got a really nice filter. Now there is a maximum line right there. That's about seven tablespoons. Now the scoop holds about one tablespoon, but it's got some measurements on the side. So I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna brew the 14 ounce, and I'm gonna use three to five of these scoops. I'm gonna use about four scoops. Okay, so I got my coffee in there, give it a little bit of shake, close the lid. Now we simply just set it up here. Again, close the lid. 
it knows I have the coffee bean in or the ground coffee adapter so I can go all the way up. Let's do a 14 ounce. And then you just hit the brew, but I'm going to do a classic. If I did a rich, it's a little bit slower brew. It does the same amount, but let's do classic and brew. So it starts brewing right away. Now it is going to pause. It makes you think it stops brewing, but what it's doing is pausing the brew. Then it's going to pick back up again. Okay, let's measure the coffee come out. It's really hot. Be careful. About 186, you end up with a really hot coffee. Now the reason I like using my own coffee grounds for travel mugs is K-Cups could only hold two tablespoons of coffee. That's about enough for an eight ounce, maybe a 10 ounce coffee. But for big travel mugs, it's nice that you can put a lot of coffee in that filter and brew a lot of coffee. Okay, so that took less than two minutes. I've got a travel mug full of nice hot coffee that tastes delicious. Up here, cleanup is very simple. You're gonna open this up. I can take this whole basket. It's got a plunger that's gonna keep it from dripping. So let's see how it brewed Yeah, It did a good job brewing the coffee. So I like that after you take the coffee grounds out, these parts are dishwasher safe that you can take out. You can even take this little part off the right here. It comes out for cleaning. Okay, so this is the version that does not come with, it doesn't come with a milk frother. So the version that comes with a milk frother also has a specialty brew. You can do a four ounce brew. So here we got the one with the milk frother and here's the one that this one, it's just like this one that's sold at Walmart. This is a new color. I've not seen this stone color. I was a little on the fence about it. It took a while to get in. I ordered it. It took about a month to come in, but it looks like they've got them in stock now. I'm only seeing it on Amazon. I don't see it on the Ninja website. They've only got the one with the milk frother. This small number is PB041ST. I guess the ST stands for stone. The one with the milk frother is model number PB051. It does have a clean light that's going to come on. I'm going to do a descale video, so the descale will be, will be the same for all of them. Be sure and check out that video. I'll put links to everything you see in the show description notes in the show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. I did buy all of this with my own money, and I was not paid for this video. So I am in the process of branding my own coffee. We're working on bag design right now. I'm just about out. I need to get some more coffee so I can brew some more. It tastes really good. It's like a medium to dark roast. Simple sip coffee. Also be sure and check out my Just A Dad videos group page. I'll be doing my free giveaways. This will be a free giveaway on that page. And you can see behind the scenes, kind of the videos coming and my coffee journey. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really does help out my YouTube channel. Again, I really appreciate everybody's support. If there's a certain type of coffee maker you would like to see me review or compare, please leave them in the comments down below. Again, thanks everybody, and if you could, please like and subscribe.